sorry, anyone other than Martin. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. I want to revisit the um, um, consideration of the commissioners of the issue of paying a redetermination assessment on Richard. Obama Obamacare. You know, for the what over three thousand county employees that. The county has to pay what sixty four dollars per unit is per uh, their, button. pardon per value button. Like right. Go ahead. Well, there was some thought that uh, maybe the commissioners uh, would uh, join the Ohio Attorney General's lawsuit, which has since been filed. Uh, is that still uh, under consideration, or is that a dead letter? Uh, you know, I, I think I think we've concluded that nothing is ever necessarily dead, given the fact that something can always be opened, uh, you know, for a vote on something like that. We could possibly join it in the future, but I don't anticipate that, that would happen. Uh, we looked closely at the uh, litigation. I, I think all the commissioners are, are consistent in our opinion that we try to watch our tax dollars very, very closely. We were all. You know, equally concerned when we first learned of the existence of the of the amount of, of, of that charge, which again is paid out of you know effectively tax dollars, you know, to to the health plan, and it's not only this year, but there's a portion of it. It's not as large next year, and it's less the next year. Um, we did ask for a legal opinion from the prosecutor's office, and we received I think an eight to ten page opinion from uh, Assistant Prosecutor Babbitt, you know which was thorough, but again, explained to us the, the tremendous complexity of, of the Affordable Care Health Act. Uh, we did take a look at that, uh, received a draft copy, and then a, a, a final file copy, I think, of the AG's uh, complaint. Um, we also had communication, I think, Grant with Warren County, which is also a party plaintiff, and there are several other party plaintiffs at several universities, and uh, I'm not sure who else may have joined it or not, but there was a communication with Warren County as to Sark County possibly participating in it, but there was associated with it uh, you know, a substantial amount of legal fees that, that we would uh, uh, spend on it. Uh, we also spoke with our prosecutor on the matter. Uh, we concluded that the prosecutor advised us, and, and, uh, you know, and from, from my reading of the lawsuit also, that Sark County is fully protected with regard to its position these would be the outcome of that litigation by virtue of both the filing of the AG and by the filing of Warren County. Uh, there would appear to be nothing uh, additional would be gained by our participation in that litigation. And it, in fact, it would cost us money to uh, join the litigation and that we would be uh, responsible for payment of approximately one half of the Warren County legal fees. And I think that the total, if the case goes to the U.S. Supreme Court, which it's probably anticipated with that kind of litigation that it may do so. That that would be, I think their contract was for $170,000, so we were asked to participate in half of that. Um, that matter was discussed and we concluded that uh, in the interest of, again, of course, commissioners may have different views on this, but in the interest of, again, uh, our concern about the expenditure of uh, tax dollars, that uh, we would not participate. I, correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, my understanding for you, Commissioner Creighton, and you, Commissioner Regular, you've gone on record as uh, being opposed to this. You know, whether or not you joy, uh, vote to join litigation, is, is, am I correct on that? I've been quoted as it's a tax, and we are tax exempt. And Commissioner Bourne Burnaby points out I'm not an attorney, but that's my personal opinion. Okay. Again, I, I am opposed okay. to the tax as okay. well. Okay. And Commissioner Burnaby, I don't think I've read anywhere that you have uh, revealed I, I, your position. You know, it, it truly is an extraordinarily complex act. Um, I mean, it runs many thousands of pages. Uh, I know, again, that Steve Babbitt, the prosecutor, did a lot of work on it. Uh, his conclusion on almost every question that he answered, and I think that you've seen his opinion, and it's very well written, and, and Steve is a, is a bright guy, and that is almost with every issue, you know, there, there's no certain outcome either way. I don't think there's any certain outcome that this is a tax or it's not a tax. I'm not aware of any other litigation in the country, and we've asked whether or not anyone else in any other state, any other AGs or otherwise, have, 
have either joined this lawsuit or initiated ones of their own. Um, I don't think there's any certainty as to the outcome of this, either pro or con. I, you know, I'm incapable actually of formulating an opinion on it just because I think it is that complex. Okay, but just a final question. The, so the a possibility still exists that Stark County might join the Ohio Attorney General's uh, lawsuit? I, I don't think much of a possibility. I guess there's always a possibility of almost anything happening since you use the word possibility. If you want to change that word to probability, I don't no, think pro Probability, much. you'd say I it's not probable? It's, it is, I don't the, think it is probable, but again, commissioners, it's probably subject, not right now. subject oh, okay. could be subject to, you know, to their re-examination, but uh, I don't think that I don't think that it is probable. Okay, thank you very much.